You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. It is Wednesday, so we have a new video. And in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a mashup in Vegas 14 with songs. Now last uh, week, Thursday, I think it was, I uploaded a video about how to make a mashup uh, with songs in Audacity. So if you wanna see that video, make sure to check out the description. You can find a link there. But in today's video, we're gonna make a mashup using songs from NCS in Vegas 14. So let's get started right away. So as you can see right now, we have two songs. The first one is Safe and Sound, and the other one is Puzzle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the uh, volume just a little bit so it's not clipping in the audio. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to find the drop of this song and we're gonna replace it with uh, the song uh, Puzzle. So I would say I'm gonna just start uh, finding uh, the actual um, drops and I'll start when uh, the next song will start when the first drop will end so I'm gonna show you guys how it's done all right let's start off with the first song Alright guys, as you can hear, there here is the first drop. It's starting on this uh, audio wave. So we're gonna press S. Then we're going to delete this one. Now we're gonna look for the second drop on the second song. This one. Okay. Here's the song starting on the, the second drop. So we're gonna press S, I'm gonna delete this one, and now we're gonna match them in terms of tempo until they match uh, perfectly. So let's start off and start audio uh, syncing. That sounds pretty good actually. So let's hear what it uh, sounds like in total. So as you can hear, that sounds really great. So this is how you mash up songs in Audacity and you can even make them play uh, underneath it as you can see right here. It doesn't really sound like it's in tune uh, with, with both songs, but obviously you can pitch them and change the tempo so they will perfectly blend together. So this is how to make a mashup in Vegas 14, guys. It is really simple. This is how it sounds. So that's really simple. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new Audacity tutorial as always on Thursday. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank make sure to smash the like button down below if, if you find this video helpful and also the subscribe button. So thank you for the support as always and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new uh, Sony Vegas tutorial and in this video guys I'm gonna show you something really advanced and a really awesome effect. Now first of all I want to mention that I can right now I can satisfy the trolls because I say dude you are over tutorial 200 and where are the advanced things we want to learn? Well in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to create the scribble effect you see in a lot of videos in the actual music video from what do you mean by Justin Bieber you can see that effect as well. In this video, 
video, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to make the scribble effect. It's going to be really simple. So I want to say, make sure to smash the like button down below. Sorry for the long intro, but I just wanted to mention that. So I would say, let's get started. So as you can see right now, I have a little... A uh, clip of a video of a music video as you can see right now I muted the audio for copyright purposes uh, So let's play back the video and as you guys can see we're gonna add all the lines and the scribbles to this actual uh, Clip I want to mention that you have to be patient while doing this. You're not gonna uh, Just you know make a complete music video like scribbled uh, in 10 minutes That's not gonna work at all because it is a lot of work and you need to put a lot of effort into it as well So as you can see right now, I'm going to start explaining how it works So scribble effects are basically images with all kinds of lines symbols anything you want to You can think of actually so what we're gonna do first of all for this a really long clip for every frame We're gonna create a snapshot and then we're gonna add the lines into paint drag it back in Vegas and then we have the scribble effect so let's start off with the first one I'm just gonna call this uh, the number one of the frame obviously I'm just gonna sh save it right here then we're gonna move a frame well a couple of frames uh, then I'm going to uh, take another snapshot call this one two then I'm gonna move a few frames then we're gonna call this three then we're gonna move up a couple of frames I'm gonna call this four move up a couple of frames Call this five. We're gonna let's let's say that we're gonna go to ten. So move a little bit. Then we're gonna call this uh, six. Two hours later. So as you can see right now, we have a, sh a crap load of actual f uh, little pictures. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the folder where we saved those images, and then we're gonna open up each one in Paint, and then we're gonna start opening well creating. Uh, the actual scribble effect. So let's open up the first one right click on the first image Then we're gonna open up with paint and as you can see it's a really big one Then we're gonna just go ahead and start adding the lines as you can see this one's a little bit too thin As you can see we're gonna start off with those white lines on the side as you can see this one like that Boom, then we're gonna just press Control S so we will so we will override it then as you can see on the first one We have the lines then the second one We're gonna open up that one in paint and we're gonna give it like another color Let's say that we're going to pick uh, Orange and let's say that we're gonna make the lines a little bit shorter as you can see like so it really it depends on your imagination guys there's no standard or template of uh, scribble effect there are countless and countless of ways you can add scribble effects uh, onto an image so I'm gonna make this one really long as well I'm gonna only uh, pick three lines as you can see save it and then I'm going to do this right now I, I am at number four but right now we, we're gonna uh, I'm, ju I'm just gonna continue and I'll speed up the video until we have all the 10 screenshots fully edited so let me speed up the video and i'll catch you guys in just a minute Alright folks, so now that you guys see that we have all 10 images, what we're going to do is we're going to select them all and we're going to all drag them into Vegas and right now we're going to make them all the same length. So we're going to just go ahead and drag them uh, until they are as long as uh, each other uh, frame as you can see. So now I'm going to just make every single part uh, even and they're, that they're all the same length so I'm gonna just keep on you know putting them on each other so they will actually be the same length so I'm gonna speed up this part as well just to save you guys some time so I'll catch you guys when this is done All right, folks, I just got done. I just placed all 10 pictures after each other and let's see what it looks like. 
as you can see, that looks freaking awesome. So I'm gonna just, you know, uh, select everything, check this one so it will loop, and let's play back. So as you can see right now, this is how you make an awesome, awesome, awesome scribble effect in Vegas 14, because, you know, like, I just picked every few frames, but if you want to do an entire video frame by frame, you're gonna have thousands and thousands of images so that's going to be really 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 hard work and that's going to take a very long time so i just picked a few frames and as you can see it looks pretty legit i got some ones where i just covered his mouth with like two axes i mean a line and his eyes with two axes so this looks pretty legit guys as you can see this is how you create a scribble effect into vegas 14 it is that simple so i want to thank you for watching thank you for the for the continued support and if you want to see more of those advanced videos make sure to leave Leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to make a new, uh, well, kind of chapter in Vegas where I'm going to do more advanced stuff. So that is it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, for more Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up you guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this advanced tutorial guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to create the Sam Calder zoom transition that you guys have seen in the intro, so make sure to smash the like button for this second advanced tutorial in a row, because last week I showed you guys how to create the scribble effect, if you wanna see that video make sure to check out the description, there's a link to the previous video, and let's start off with this under another advanced tutorial in Vegas 14, that, that's gonna ask a little bit of time, patience, effort everything like that so I would say let's get started so as you can see we are in Vegas right now and I'm going to drag in as you can see in this folder I have three clips I'm going to drag in which is going to be the beach sunset the New York Times Square time-lapse and just another uh, New York time-lapse as you can see so I'm gonna start off with the first one I'm just gonna mute the audio for a second so basically we're gonna do this uh, video per video so we're gonna start off with the first one so the first clip is actually pretty straightforward we're gonna use keyframes for this and I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly 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 how it's done so it starts off with going to uh, the event pen crop uh, section of the first clip as you can see now before we start everything you want to make sure that everything is checked this one as you can see uh, the sync cursor is checked and then the uh, size about center and the lock aspect ratio they need to both be checked well they all three need to be checked this one as well at the bottom so the first thing what we're going to do is, as you can see right now, we want to make sure that everything is checked. I'm looking on my, my second monitor for a second because I wrote down everything in Word, so it's pretty straightforward. So as you can see, what we're going to do, the very, very, very first keyframe, as you can see, is right here. We don't need to do, we, we don't need to skip anything. We're going to zoom in just a little. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very, very, very end of the clip. Then we're going to go five key, well, five frames back. So we're going to just use arrow on her uh, keyboard to go one two three four five then what we're gonna do is we are going to press this little button that says create keyframe then what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the very last one as you can see we're gonna go five frames uh, forward then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press right click and then we're gonna press restore now that is basically um, the first thing, it's that simple. So in order to have this accurately and a very smooth transition, we're gonna just press left control, click on all the keyframes that we have. So we're gonna select all the keyframes, as you can see. And then we're going to right click and we're gonna make them from linear to smooth. Then the transition is going to be way, way smoother. So that is it for the first clip. As you can see, we're gonna close this out and this is how it looks. As you can see, we're zooming in just a little bit. And then at the end, boom, it's zooming out now th that's it for the first clip then we're gonna move to the second clip I'm gonna drag that in which is going to be the beach sunset time-lapse you're gonna make sure that all the black parts are out of the video as you can see so I'm gonna trim the ends just a little bit 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to put them, you know, to the first one. And we're going to do the opposite of what we did to the first one. So go back to uh, the event pan crop. Make sure that this one and those two are checked. So I forgot to mention, we're going to go back to the first uh, clip of the track. Uh, the first clip. Then we're going to just go to the, uh, the second uh, keyframe in the list. And we're going to press Control C. That's very important. Now we're going to close this out. Go to event pan crop of the second clip. And we're going to start off the very first one and we're going to press ctrl v so that we have the zoom from the first one so now that we have that one pasted in then we're going to go five keyframes forward so i'm going to uh, count it one two three four five and then i'm going to right click and press restore now as you can see we're going to also make sure that we have all the keyframes to smooth so we're going to right click on them and this the first one is already smooth because i copy that one so this is how it looks So now that we've done that, we're going to drag in the third clip. Okay, so now that I dragged in the last clip, it is going to be a very peaceful one. I'm going to mute the audio first of all. Then we're going to do the exact same thing uh, from the first one, as you can see. So now that we're editing the second clip, what we're going to do, just like the first one, is we are going to go to the end, go one, two, three, four, five. Go five uh, frames back, press Ctrl V, the same um, keyframe, then go to the very end, press Restore, and now we're going to go edit the third clip, as you can see. So we're going to go into the event pan crop of the third uh, clip, then what we're going to do is, at the very, very beginning of the, of the, of the third clip, uh, we are just going to uh, zoom uh, just a little bit more. Then we're going to go to the very end, as you can see, go one, two, three, four, five keyframes back. Then I'm going to just click on press keyframe, as you can see right there, boom. Then we're going to go to the very back, to the very end of the third clip. We're going to press uh, right click restore. And this is how it looks. So as you can see, that looks freaking amazing. Make sure that all the keyframes are set to smooth, as you can see, smooth smooth like that so this is the end So as you can see, that is how to create the Sam Calder transition, guys. It is really simple. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to this, uh, to this very, uh, very advanced tutorial to show you guys how to create the Sam Calder zoom uh, effect. So that's basically how you do it, guys. This is how you create the Sam Calder effect. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, the, for a brand new Audacity tutorial that was on Thursday. So that is how to create the Sam Calder effect. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Just Alex Halford.